Folic acid is a B vitamin. Uh, the word folic uh, comes from foliage, so it's very, very rich in greens. So things like spinach, broccoli, etc., great source of folic acid. It's one of the most vital B vitamins that's necessary for a process in the body called methylation. And there are about a billion of these methylation reactions every couple of seconds. And one of the purposes of methylation is to actually copy cells. So we're always replacing ourselves. So you might have heard of folic acid because pregnant women are advised to take it because obviously their babies are developing new cells. So folic acid protects against birth defects by making sure healthy cells are made. Actually the richest source of folic acid is not greens, it's beans, lentils, nuts and seeds. So lentils for example are exceptionally high. Peanuts also are very high. Now we need something like 300 or 400 micrograms of folic acid a day and if you're really eating five or more servings of fruit and veg, you'll probably get it. But it's worth supplementing maybe 100 or 200 micrograms just to make sure. If you are pregnant, you'll be advised to supplement 400 micrograms. There's something you can measure in the blood called homocysteine. And if it's very high, it means you're not doing methylation well. And you may need even more folic acid to bring it down. So sometimes you need more. Because it's a water-soluble B vitamin, it means it's in and out of the body in you know, four to six hours. So for all the B vitamins, including folic acid, you need to be having them every day, and ideally twice a day. So I take a multivitamin twice a day, one with breakfast, one with lunch, and I eat lots of fruit and vegetables. Oranges are good, nuts are good, seeds are good, beans, lentils, greens. These are the kind of foods you want to eat. Thank you.